very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking as usual we just want to make you updated with the results of our forex signals group and as you can see this is the extreme premium signals page on telegram and these are the signals that we have sent yesterday these are the results where um, as we can see all of the signals have reached the take profit number one uh, except for Eurocad has reached take profit number two with 50 pips of profit even uh, before yesterday was really great uh, pound and ZD alone has reached 120 pips of profit uh, I see some some people complaining or asking about how to reach take profit one or two or three and how to guarantee that uh, of course I have already made this video my friends you can go to my channel watch this video a day with extreme trader forex signals where I have actually made more than hundred dollars of profit in very short time just using our signals and if you go back to our uh, free group we can see these messages from the happy clients who have joined our group look at this guy he said I went from losing over three hundred dollars to profit of one hundred and forty three dollars that is in profit right now that is really nice to hear and I'm very happy and glad to see that well done for today thank you Angela hi Angela great signals today so thankfully we are receiving a lot of uh, grateful and pleased messages from the members they are happy to join the service and they are really glad that we are able to keep the promise of growing their account using our signals very happy to have this signaling service and we are very happy to have you also with us so definitely we are doing so well there is no doubt that extreme trader forex signals group is right now growing to be one of the best forex signals providers uh, uh, available uh, that is uh, for two things because we are first of all uh, transparent and honest with all the members and everyone and second of all we are actually able to deliver really the best quality of signals so in the end if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact angela you can find her contact details in the, in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so let's move right on to the uh, live trading uh, video and what i can see right here is a very good entry for the euro gpy uh, let me right now just uh, check first it's gonna give about 15 pips of profit 0 0.30 i'm gonna lower that just make it 0 0.25 should be fine so uh, first of all welcome on this video and today we are going to use again the 20 pips a day strategy now of course what we can see right here on the by the way hold on one second I just thought that it is very important because we are having here uh, new visitors and new subscribers in our channel first of all I would like to welcome you all and if you guys wish to know which strategy I'm using today in this live trading video please head to my channel videos and watch this video right here this is the most important video on my channel it says forex strategy 20 pips a day it is there where I have explained this strategy in brief and I explain more about how to use the hit and run rules and how to uh, use uh, support and resistance in our daily trades um, in forex so uh, please you can watch this video and you can be aware more about what kind of a strategy that i'm using so uh, going back to the trade right now let me tell you something here what we have what i have noticed right now the pair is at the absolute lowest level hold on the pair is at the absolute lowest level of this previous key support level as we can see the market has moved and make this sudden jump once the market reached this uh, previous support level the market has made this strong uh, jump like that and that rejection indicates a very strength in the support level and since the, uh, right now the market right here is at the absolute lowest level of this support level uh, of the support I have placed my buy order we can notice something right now that the candle is going against me on the one hour chart however nothing to be worried about because we are having right here also a support level as we can see right here I'm looking here uh, we are having also this support level right here and this support kept its position as a support number one 
so we're having here a support number one as i told you uh, that candle doesn't really mean much to me because uh, it's uh, it happened after the opening of the market on monday morning and therefore we can see that the market has actually was actually low at this support level and we are having here a resistance and the market has actually made this uh, strong bullish engulfing movement that means this support and this support like right here uh, add to them this support they are going to keep their position as a support you might see the candle going against you for some short time however it's normal you have to wait some time for the candle to actually create the wick because what I'm trying to, to explain to you is you, you should never decide that this candle or this trade is going in loss immediately there is a high chance that the market is going down trying to break out from the support and in the end this candle might actually close as a pin bar if that happens then this trade is gonna reverse and continue growing all the way sorry continue rising all the way until it hit the nearest previous resistance which is right here and if this happens we can look for nearly of 34 pips of profit more than what i want in my 20 pips a day strategy so again I'm trying to explain that we should never judge if this trade is, uh, has went in loss or not until the candle actually closes as a bearish breakout candle. So I'm going to leave this trade running so far uh, and I'm going to try to find something else. I think I'm actually willing to trade the pound. Pound seems very appealing to trade right now. Uh, we can see the pair is going down on um, the pound GPY as we can see. We are approaching uh, the support number one on the four hour chart and it is very obvious that I want to also place by order on support number two. Uh, most likely the candle is going to bounce at the very same level and if you want my opinion my friends this is one of the most perfect setups you need to look for. Uh, because this long wick here the long tail like that that's indicating a strength in the level of the support the rejection was strong and the market could not even go below this level and we can see right now that the market after hitting this previous support level it went up all the way right here as you can see the market has went for 550 pips against this direction it indicates that there was no way the market can actually break out from that level that's why uh, this this level of the support is very strong and we can rely on this long tail here to decide that we want to place another buy order once the market reach the very same level here so that might take some time therefore let me just try to find something else um, I'm just trying to find something that I can rely on right now and yes I was waiting for this one actually yes definitely I'm going to place sell on the USD CAD right now here now allow me to explain the reason what we can see right here and remember my friends we are on the four hour chart as you know four hour chart is a big time frame and almost every candle can represent its own support and resistance so what we are seeing on the four hour chart right now is we're having right here a resistance level which was also a resistance level right here now pay attention that very same level of the resistance has also become a tiny small support that cannot be ignored this level of previous support level cannot be ignored and if we go to the 30 minute time frame I believe you can see it clearly yes look at that as we can see as I told you that was the previous resistance and it has become right here a previous support later on that support has been breaking out by this bearish breakout candle and we can see the strong momentum right right after breaking out from that previous resistance and support the market just kept sinking and going down and the bearish momentum was very much stronger than any uh, bullish uh, movement therefore we can notice something here that the very same level of that resistance here has also become a resistance number one that is the bearish breakout candle and right here we're having the very same res uh, the, sorry the very first resistance attempt right after the bearish breakout candle right here is resistance number one and I have obviously opened my trade on resistance number two 
Now let's see how many pips I can look in this trade about the 20 pips that is fine that is what I want in my daily trades so of course since I have placed my trade right on this previous resistance I want to exit my trade at the nearest support or resistance which is exactly right here if we look carefully one second we can see that we are having right here a support and here is the resistance where I placed my trade so we can look for almost 14 pips of profit should be fine should be fair enough uh, don't ever get greedy don't force the market to give you uh, the pips you are asking for because you just need to follow the setup so so far we are having these two trades going in loss both of them let me check uh, the euro gpy euro gpy is so far is going fine uh, that was expected we just need some to wait some more time until the uh, the pair is gonna reverse as I told you we have to see how this candle is gonna close remember uh, please keep in mind that I'm just switching between 4 hour 1 hour 30 minutes 15 minutes whatever it happens is fine look at that now the pair is reversing the candle is reversing if I see for example on the 15 minute time frame this candle closed as a pin bar that's a good sign if I see the close as a pin bar on the 30 minute time frame also that's a good sign or one hour that is also a good sign either way I just need to see on the smaller time frame uh, a good price action indicating a bullish reversal so let's go back to the 4 hour chart and check where else we can find a good entry and I'm just checking the pairs one by one so far I cannot really find anything I'm um, just checking more mm. let me just check this one here AUD GPY the AUD GPY see let me tell you something the problem with the AUD GPY is we're having right here a previous resistance however we are not having any strong support level right here I see only a resistance level uh, it's very important to see a strong uh, support and uh, that is actually cannot be seen right here on the AUD GPY I'm just looking here and there I'm checking on the left side nothing of nothing honestly therefore I cannot rely on this uh, trade to enter it so so far we are having just these two trades we can see the Euro GPY the losses have been reduced greatly uh, so far it's going well yes this is the Euro GPY Euro pound and still uh, let me go to the one hour chart actually the, the euro pound seems interesting also since we are at the highest top of that resistance level the problem here guys is as I as you know I, I prefer to enter only the first and second attempts of any support or resistance now on the four hour chart we can see that we are having here resistance number one two three therefore entering the fourth attempt is a big no for me and I'm going to ignore it just to be safe because we just want to save of course our money and we don't want to enter a trade that maybe can win it has a chance I'm praying that it will win. it will win we don't want to do that we just want to enter a trade that we are sure it's gonna profit so so far nothing actually um, Please allow me to pause this video for a short time and I will show you later what will gonna happen with these two trades. Alright, and I'm checking right here on the UST CHF. We are having another really good entry. As we can see on the one hour time frame, we had here a very strong resistance, and here we can see that the market has made so many attempts to break out from that resistance level, and lately the market has made this fake candle, fake breakout candle or the false attempt to break out from that resistance so meaning after this bullish engulfing candle we can see that the market went down right away indicating the weakness or sorry sorry uh, I mean indicating the strength of the level on that resistance and the weakness of the candles to actually break out of it so meaning that level of the resistance is strong and we are going to rely on it we can see the USDCHF trade is in profit right away therefore uh, of course uh, we are not saying that the market is going to continue falling down we are just hoping that the market is going to reverse after failing 
to break out of that resistance and as I said always we are, we are going to uh, exit the trade at the nearest support or resistance and let me see where is the nearest support it's just right here 11 pips away I think 11 pips 9 pips or 10 pips I'm gonna set this as my take profit level as I'm telling you always we just want to always be sure that we are not forcing the market to give us the profits we are seeking the setup is giving us this that is the resistance here where I have placed my trade and the nearest support is laying exactly right here that's something I cannot change I cannot do anything about it I have to follow therefore the take profit level has been set on 10 pips only now checking the other trades as I told you Euro GPY seems reversing uh, that resist uh, sorry that support level as I told you my friends is really strong we are going to depend on it to make us uh, to to give us some hope of a reversal and this candle right here also has reached the highest top level of the resistance and most likely is gonna later reverse so all in all so far all these trades are going in profit allow me now to pause this video and show you the final results of all these three trades and as we can see the trades are all going now in a good profit and as you can see the USD CAD has hit the oh sorry has hit the take profit level with total of 15 pips of profit uh, did I place my trade here I think so I think it was uh, 12 pips of profit total made from the USD CAD so we are done with this trade and I wanted to bring your attention on the Euro GPY as I told you my friends don't give up and assume that the trade is going in loss immediately once you see the candle going against your order look at that right now the euro gpy on the 30 minute time frame the candle has closed as what seems like a like a hammer or a, 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 a pin bar to be honest with you i think it's a hammer i see there is a small little bit tail uh, or a wick at the top however the candle now is reversing the market is reversing and as you can see euro gpy is right now going into the profit actually i have placed my take profit right on this level however that is wrong since we are in this live trading video it should be at the nearest resistance since I placed my trade on this support the nearest resistance is just right here therefore I reduced the take profit level here to be um, 16 pips with $37 of profit will be made from this trade and also we can see uh, USD CHF has went all the way down very close to hit the tech profit level only reversed one pip before hitting it no problem at all I will close it later after the market uh, reverse actually you know something I might reverse it, close it right now and just accept this six pips of profit that is one of the reasons um, reasons I'm telling you don't ever rely on the tech profit levels you can close the trade once it is very close to the tech profit level don't ever get greedy I mean it's not fair that I'm losing this trade only because I wanted that one more pip I mean that really not good at all anyway it's a very small amount and I know uh, this live trading video is aiming a small profit however it is suitable for those who just want to learn how to use the 20 pips a day strategy and it's just the morning session uh, I'm just uh, I just I just decided to do some live trading and I wanted to share it with you so anyway I think I might close the uh, USD CHF with this tiny small profit of six pips that's all that's fair enough for me I will re I will uh, rely now on the US on the Euro GPY aiming 15 pips of profit so in the end uh, not in the end yet let me just now pause this video and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with the Euro GPY all right so let's see what's happening together the Euro GPY is taking some time to be in profit it was in deep uh, not in deep profit it was like in six or seven pips of profit however the pair is still ranging uh, currently I'm keeping my eyes on the pound and the uh, pound and the D uh, the pound and the D actually I'm going to place the buy order right now uh, the pound and the D can actually give us a lot of profit from just a tiny small reversal for example I have placed my buy order right here and as you can see look at that just a small reversal can give me the 20 pips that I'm seeking like that 
19 pips or 20 pips uh, that's uh, the same of course it's very important to explain to you the reason why did i place this trade right here now of course if we look at the four hour chart the pound in zd is currently on a, uh, a support level so as i'm telling you uh, we are using the bigger time frame to know our level in the market so seeing the uh, four hour chart we can tell that right now we are actually on a support level so that has been checked going right now to the smaller time frame i went to the one hour chart and what i see right here is a previous support level as you can see right here that support level uh, remember guys we are on the one hour chart and four hour charts so each candle can represent its own support and resistance so meaning in other words that support has become right here a tiny re resistance which has been later being broken out by this bullish engulfing breakout candle that means that the market right now is gonna respect this level that support is gonna keep its position as a support and um, I'm not saying that the pair is most likely gonna reverse and continue rising more up all I'm saying is I just want the market to reverse and hit the nearest the previous support level so of course that is on the one hour chart going to the 30 minute time frame uh, we can see it now more clear that we are having here this support again has been breaking out uh, which has become a resistance and then breaking out by this bullish breakout candle and again that support is gonna keep its position as a support and that is exactly what's happening right now uh, as I'm telling you guys always the pound and ZD is one of the best pairs to use on 20 pips a day strategy because really I mean just one candle can give us the profit that we want now it's important to mention that on the 15 minute time frame we can see this candle has already reversed from that level and the market went all the way up to the take profit level that I am uh, uh, targeting that means uh, the first attempt has happened already and I'm willing to close the pound in ZD now with the $14 of profit uh, the reason as, as I uh, told you we always trust the first attempt more than the second attempt first is much better than the second attempt so uh, looking at the support level we can see that the market has already hit this level and the candle reversed all the way reaching the nearest resistance to the support right now what's happening is the second attempt and the market already reversed and look at that now the candle has uh, made the bearish reversal that means it was I think the right decision to close the trade it's just a scalping entering and uh, getting out too quickly with a small profit it's fine it's my style because I like to get to get, uh, to get out with a decent amount of profit even if it's small it's still uh, good for the small account that I'm using always try to be safe than sorry that's my uh, philosophy in trading in forex so we are right now waiting for the so for the euro gpy to be in profit let me now pause this video and i'll be back to you later to show you the final results of the euro gpy uh okay guys i just need to apologize for you because actually the signals uh, session has just started and angela has just sent the first signal to start buying the cat chf i need to pay attention to that so I'm, go I'm going to end this video right now four pips uh, from euro gpy closing this trade uh, we need to pay attention now to the signals and monitor them therefore uh, i know it's a very small and tiny profit made in this video however that was my personal live trading session in this morning and i just wanted to share it with you on youtube so hopefully it can help you to learn something or uh, you know update your knowledge about how to use the 20 pips a day strategy i really hope uh, it was helpful i know again it's a small profit however it is better than nothing in the end um i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching